video, I'm going to introduce you to the amazing Render Man preset browser. And once you learn it and you know how it works, I guarantee it's going to really revolutionize the way you do your look depth from shading through to lighting. So the first thing I'm going to show you is all the presets that come already installed with RenderMan. And then after that, I'm going to show you how you can set up your own custom libraries. And the most amazing thing about the preset browser is that you can share them across Houdini, Katana and Maya. So you could be working in Maya and you make this amazing shader and then you then save it to the preset browser, jump into Houdini or Katana, and then you can use that same shader and apply it to a different model. The first thing to do to get the preset browser loaded up is you come up to this blue ball icon here in the in the render man shelf and once you click it you'll see here that the preset browser gets loaded. Now by default the preset browser already comes pre-loaded with presets from Pixar. I just close these down you can see we've got environment maps, we've got light rigs and we've also got materials as well and open them up again you can see that they're split into subcategories. So the environment maps have got indoors and outdoors. The light rings doesn't have any. But within the materials, you've then got acrylics and ceramics and brush metals and minerals and all sorts of amazing things just to get you started. OK, so let's start at the top and let's have a look at the environment maps. I've already gone ahead and I've made a Pixar dome light, which I'm going to unhide. And I haven't applied anything to this. So you can see here in the preset library, I've got a choice of the indoor at the Pixar atrium, or I've got a couple of HDRIs from the outside of Pixar in San Francisco as well. So with the dome light selected, if I right click on it, I get a number of options. I can import and assign to selected. So this import option here means that if I didn't have a Pixar dome light in the scene, that it would automatically create one for me and then assign this HDRI. I can move them to different categories and I can inspect the JSON file and I can also look at the rib file as well. But I'm just going to select this option here, import and assign to selected. And you can see that it drops in the HDRI. And then if I fire up this bottom interactive viewport, and now once it's fired up, you can now see that we have the HDRI. And I can adjust it how I like. And then if I don't like it, I can then come back to the indoor one. And again, if I right click and go import and assign to selected, it's going to drop in the atrium at Pixar. So coming to the next section here, we've got light rigs. So if I just hide the Pixar dome light a second. Now, because we haven't got any lights, it's all going to go black. So if I, for instance, come here to this three point preset and I right click and I go import. Now what you'll see is that it drops in three lights in the correct places for my three-point lighting. And if I go ahead and I delete these, like so, and I come here and I right-click on the Rembrandt one and I press Import, you can now see that it's imported these two lights in a Rembrandt-style lighting scene. And again, in the next lesson, I'm going to show you how you can create your own lighting setups, save them to the preset browser and then use them throughout your projects. So let me just go ahead and delete these two and then I'm going to unhide the Pixar dome light. So now we're going to look at the materials and there's a whole bunch here and the simple way to do it is to select the geometry that you want to assign the material to and then right click again and then go import and assign to selected. So let's try this green acrylic and there it is. Let's have a look at a few others. Let's go and have a look at metallic paint. And again, right click and assign to selected. Pretty wild. Let's give the dome light a bit of a spin. Okay, so let's have a look at some others. So we've got some paints here. We've got this one here, which is dark blue paint. Let's just have a look at this PVC. Let's try these composites. Let's have a look at the carbon fiber. Let's just try one more as well. Let's just try liquids. Let's go down to, oh, let's try whiskey. Okay, so that's pretty much it for how the preset browser works with its default materials and environment maps. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how you can create your own custom libraries.